So picture this, okay? You're going to McDonald's. You're hungry. You just want to get yourself some deep fried diabetes and you need it quick. You pull up to the window and who hands you out your food? But Mr. Donald J. Trump. You would probably think you were in an alternate universe or then maybe you would stop and be like, okay, this is why you're not supposed to drive on shrooms. This makes a lot more sense now. But actually, it's real. It's real life. Now, the scenario I laid out is not real, uh, but Trump attempting to work at McDonald's or at least make it appear that he's working at McDonald's that actually happened. Now, before we jump into the video, you might also be wondering why? Why did Trump do all this? Well, you see, it's all because Kamala Harris claimed that when she was in college, she worked at McDonald's for a short time. Now, Kamala Harris has said this and a friend has also confirmed her story. For some reason now, whether or not she was truly employed by McDonald's in the past, has been called into question by Trump. And so now Trump is trying to work at McDonald's to show that he's worked at McDonald's even more than Kamala Harris. Can we just sit back and laugh that like, these are the conservative arguments? If we wanna talk about McDonald's, this really makes a lot of sense because conservatives have cooked up a giant nothing burger out of all this. One of the most unexpected talking points in US elections, did Kamala Harris work at McDonald's? All right, let's see. Vice President Kamala Harris is often referred to her time when she used to work at McDonald's earlier in her life during school days. Blah, blah, blah. Donald Trump has argued claiming that it was a lie to gain favor from the voters. And he also asserted that he confirmed with the manager of a McDonald's restaurant that Kamala Harris was never an employee there. The Telegraph reported that the uh, McDonald's authority has made themselves distanced from this debate with the statement that they are not able to verify this information due to lack of employee records from the 1980s of this brand. McDonald's employees have been instructed to avoid the discussion at the location where the claim comes from. Despite repeated assertions of, uh, of Kamala Harris, critics mentioned that Kamala Harris never added this job as an experience in her resume for the legal positions. <laughs> what? You're applying for a legal job and you're gonna be like, by the way, I also worked at McDonald's for a summer. We don't know if it's a lie or not. There's not enough evidence to conclusively say, yeah, Kamala lied about it. It would probably help her if she had like, I don't know, a picture of herself working there or, or something. But all in all, for Trump to just randomly be like, she never worked there. It's all a lie made up by the illegal immigrants. It's just, it's insane. Even if she didn't, who cares? She proposes child tax credits and addresses affordable housing. Exactly. That's another thing too. It's like, even if she completely lied about working at McDonald's for all the things Trump lied about, what about when Trump lied while president when he claimed that COVID was just like the flu and it would be gone by the summer and then leaked audio showed that Trump had actually been admitting behind closed doors that this thing is much worse than the flu. This thing is really bad news. And his lies had a serious negative impact on all of America. Maybe we should focus more on that instead of whether or not Kamala Harris lied about working at McDonald's when she was in school for a fucking summer. All of this nonsense led to Donald Trump staging this time at McDonald's. The Washington Post reported that the restaurant was closed to the public during Trump's visit, and the customers who Trump did serve were screened by the Secret Service and positioned before his arrival. <laughs> okay, bravo. And he's somehow using this as a flex on Kamala. All right. You can separate over here. Grab it. Grab it. We're going to grab a basket, two hands. And then you can go right into here on the left. Yep. Slowly, gen uh, right here, right here. Slowly, gently lower it into the oil. Don't want to burn yourself. Stop. Down a little bit further. Gotcha. There you go. And then we're going to hit our fry timer right here. You know, I really respect and admire McDonald's for being willing to employ convicted felons. I think that that's really, really admirable, you know, because people that are felons, people that commit crimes, those people still have to survive. They still have to work, you know? Got about 10,000 people out there. 
That's a big crowd, huh? Uh, I love McDonald's. I love jobs. I like to see good jobs. And I think it's inappropriate when somebody puts down all over the place that she worked at McDonald's. It was a big part of her resume that she worked at McDonald's, how tough a job it was. I awkward. Very awkward moment. It was a big part of her resume, but critics claim that she was lying because it was never actually a part of her resume. Oh, no. She specifically worked at the French fry where they make the French fries, and she talked about the heat. It was so tough. She never worked at McDonald's. McDonald's just confirmed that again, by the way. She never worked at McDonald's. McDonald's did not ever confirm that. As we know, McDonald's does not actually have employment records dating back to the 1980s. Thus, they really have no way to formally confirm uh, whether or not Kamala Harris was ever employed there. These are definitely fresh. <laughs> the good thing, they're definitely cool fresh. Time. Yep. Good. Okay. And then... Can Trump please put on some gloves and like a fucking hairnet, by the way? I don't know about you, but I would not want to bite into my Big Mac and have a nasty bleach blonde toupee hair stuck in my fucking burger. Who knows where those hands have been? Who knows how many women have been sexually assaulted at those hands. He should be putting gloves on before touching the fries. I pull. Exactly, and we're gonna hook it right onto there. Okay, and I shake a little bit. No, you don't gotta shake, you just hook it right onto there. Okay. And then we're gonna bring this handle up towards the sky. Okay. So that way the oil Get rid of the oil. Yep, drink right off. Wow. And then that's good. We're gonna bring them over directly to this one. Wow, Trump's just uh -huh. like us, you know, guys? Very good. Grab one while it's really hot. See if you can touch that sucker. I don't think so. Then we're going to bring that basket far right, all the way over to the right. What? Right what? <laughs> hey, buddy, grab that. Touch it. You won't. No balls. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm the president, you know. <laughs> right up there. And then we got another pool timer. We got to hit that timer. Bring that one up. I'm going to take care of these. Okay. She looks so awkward. You want to do the salt over here? Yeah. I did these ones already. They're good. You just okay. got to do that one right there. So grab that. Can you give them extra salt? No, no. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. Good. Okay. Right there. And then we're going to grab the fry scoop right here. Right. Put it into there and just give them okay. a twirl that way. Okay. Yep. Where is it? Are we making a mistake by watching this whole ass thing? Based on what I've heard, I mean, Holly's sister worked at McDonald's and said herself, like, it's not like this at all. Obviously, there's not time to be like, now we're going to dump the oil out. Okay, kids, next, let's sprinkle the salt on. Ha ha ha, cooking with mommy. No, it's like a fucking lunch rush, dinner rush. Go, 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 go. Get the fucking fries out the door. Go, go, go. And it's super stressful. So even this, even Trump's staged thing where he tries to be like, I'm just like you folks. I'm just a middle class dude just like y'all. You're not. You're not even working the actual job. It's way more hectic than this. Instead, it's like McDonald's biggest simp gets a tour of the behind the scenes. That's what this feels like. Can I give it to these guys here? Take it. Want to do another one? Yeah. So again, we're going to sides, bottom. Right. And then we're going to hold it like this, so that way we don't squish the fry. Okay, got yeah, it. Exactly, and then grab your fry scoop. And then, okay. And then probably get another scoop in there. We'll make sure I think so. Wow. Let's do a little bit more. Okay, we'll do another one. Yep. Definitely. And then, um, this one we got Imagine if you were actually in the drive-thru. What is taking so fucking long? And you just see Trump putzing around like the fucking tortoise. Exactly. And then when Trump sticks his head out the window, you don't even get a jump scare. You get a Trump scare. Good one versus. Good. Now, how about we bag him now? Exactly. Okay. 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 Let's bag to Jojo. Jojo's going to help you with the bag. Jojo, right? you're an expert at this. Hey, let's go. Okay, President Trump. So for our first order that's going out the window, we're going to need three medium fries. So would you like to add, put the medium fries in the bag? I think so, yeah. All so right, we'll do that. Three, so we're start because you know who's five. taking these, right? Oh, man, I'm so envious of this random McDonald's employee. She actually got to ask Trump to put the fries in the bag. 
unironically, and he even gave her approval and was like, absolutely. <laughs> Sometimes. Supposing we want some extra salt, can we just go like that? Um, we will give them salt packets. Watch this out there. <laughs> what is it with Trump wanting to add extra salt? Bro, not everybody wants a bunch of salt dumped on their fries. <laughs> I, I love salt. Wait a minute, I spilled some. Just, I'm very superstitious. Now it's over the left shoulder, now I'm okay. Let's go. All right, yep. So we're gonna start from this side. Yeah, okay? fine. I like how it was just like silence. Everyone's just like, ha ha ha. And he was like, what's up, homie? Okay, put him in standing up, right? Correct. Joe, Joe. All right. You're an expert at this, huh? Yes. How long have you done, done this? How long have you been here? Um, I've been working with Donald's 10 plus. 10 plus? Wow. Yeah. That's phenomenal. It's because of my economic plan. Oh, I see. Now I'm going to see that. Oh, that's your customer out there. Yes. Wow. That's pretty good. Okay, let's say. Do you believe this? Look at this guy. He's a MAGA guy all the way. Okay, so for his first order, yep. Okay. Well, that's a good looking group. Hello, everybody. This is not a normal situation, is it, huh? How are you? What a good-looking family. Oh, thank you. How did you produce those good-looking I kind of want, like, now, now that I know these are a bunch of MAGA simps, I would kind of suggest that maybe Trump just, like, spits all over their food. But I'm really afraid to say, I think they might like that. <laughs> oh, they look like the wife. They look nice like the wife. How are you? Nice to see you. That's great. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. And there'll be no charge. Trump is paying for it. Is that okay? This, oh, you're doing some extra stuff. Oh, okay, great. This is, this is all on Trump. Oh, all on Trump. I'm allowed to do that, right? Yeah. Huh? Let's check and make sure it's okay. everything you said it would it's be. It's better be. It's going to be the best you ever. I made it myself. You're the man. Make America That's great. That's it. Right. Thank you, man. Thank, Thank you. Trump. Thank you. Have a good time. Have a good time. That's that's great, isn't it? Okay. How cute is it? Car. Okay, next car? Yes, they get both bags. Do you like them both at the same time? Yes, that is right. Hello, how are you? You're a good looking guy. 45, 47. Could Trump just try to greet people differently? Hey there, handsome. What's up, good looking? It always strikes me as so odd. It's very boomerish to be like, hey, here's a good looking guy, huh? Thank you very much. Hello, fellas. Come on. We have another order coming up. And this is their I mean, that's order? thousands of people. That's... Hello. How are you? What a beautiful woman. Look at her beautiful child. The whole thing. It's like the perfect looking person. That's good. That's, that's the compliment. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Hi, Mom. Look at mom over there. Oh, it's such an honor to meet you, Trump. I would let you grab me by the... This is fun. I could do this all day. I wouldn't mind this job. I like this job. I think I might come back and do it again. Thank you. All right. Well, there you go, Trump. Is this a uh, campaign tour or is this just you testing out future employment options? I'm having a lot of fun here, everybody. Oh look at, God. Oh look at the God. fake, look at all the fake news over there. <laughs> Hello, everybody. You can take this, And right? you know, this is compliments of Trump, okay? Yes, thank okay. you. Okay. Mr. President, yes. please don't let the United States become Brazil, my native Brazil. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll please, keep it good. Please, please. We're going to make it. Please don't let the United States. Oh my God, MAGA supporters are just consumed and controlled by fear to such an embarrassing fucking extent. First of all, that's not going to happen. We are in no threat whatsoever. We are not at risk of becoming like Brazil. But because she's afraid of this and she thinks Trump's going to fix it, that's it. That's enough. Bye, darling. Have a good time. Thank you, honey. How good are these people? I, I'm gonna take plenty. I'm gonna definitely have French French fries for the plane. Have you seen the people over there? That is thousands of people. That's great. Huh? How are you? Nice to see you. Is my guy, great, great cinematographer. Not enough. I want more. I want more money. No, I'm, I'm big. I'll tell you what. It's a great franchise. It's a great company. And they've been very, very nice. And, uh, and you know, if, if you look at really what's happening, look at the crowd over there. Look how happy everybody is. He's They're so happy. obsessed with the crowd size. Look how many people are here. Because they want hope. They need hope. 
And that's what we're doing. That's what we're going to give. No, much what you're actually doing, Trump, is depriving them of hope and then lying to them that you are the one to give them hope. We're going to make we're going to take hope and make it fact. Mr. President, you actually have worked at McDonald's now. versus. Now I have worked at McDonald's. I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. OK, she she never worked here. I've now worked 15 minutes more than Kamala. So it's good. Uh, worked at McDonald's. I'm going to say, why? Did, because she's lying, Kamala. That's why. Why would she lie? Yep. Trump lies about the election and about COVID and about rape allegations. Look at the enthusiasm. I mean, that's thousands of people over there. They go miles back. That's incredible. So We should literally get like a, a crowd counter. Do you appreciate McDonald's more now that you've worked here? Well, I do appreciate it. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, I... I you take it for granted. You say, give me French fries. I'll never forget this experience, okay? Now I know how to do it, and it's very good. But you know what? It's beautiful. It's clean. It's really nice. You never touch them. I always figured somebody stuffs them in with their hand, and I don't like that. And they don't do it that way. They, they, you never touch them. It's really great. Yeah, good point, chat. It also does show how disconnected from reality he is when he says that he thought that they would grab the fries with their hands? Like, does he seriously not know that obviously McDonald's has a process? How do you connect best with voters? I think just by being myself. I want to be myself. All I want to do is be myself. They know what they have. We had the best economy ever. We had the strongest borders ever. We had the- The best economy ever? The economy was pretty good, yes, but it was because we had just gotten out of a recession. And those were actually Democrat policies that helped the economy come back stronger. Then you inherited a good economy that was already good beforehand. Even when you were president, when COVID was striking, gas prices were starting to go up and the economy was starting to tank. So we didn't really have the greatest economy consistently when you were president. Strongest borders, border apprehensions are how we measure illegal immigration. We can't really measure crossings because if they cross, how do we know they're here illegally? Border apprehensions, when somebody's caught, that's how to count it. So when border apprehensions are up, that usually means that illegal immigration is up as well. So when Trump was leaving office, border apprehensions were higher than the year that Obama left office. There was a higher influx of illegal immigration uh, in Trump's last year of his presidency compared to Obama's last year of his presidency. So you didn't have the strongest economy and you didn't have the strongest borders. We did a great job, but we had the greatest economy ever. We had the more immigrants caught could also mean more enforcement. If that's true, then when we were seeing the quote unquote border crisis taking place under Joe Biden, then uh, I hope you're willing to say that Joe Biden's uh, border patrols uh, team and whatnot was actually great because that's why border apprehensions were up. <laughs> Well, they, Either way, will you accept the results of the election? Yeah, sure. If it's a fair election, always. I would always accept it if it's, if it's got to be a fair election. See, there's this little caveat there. Of course, I'll accept it if it's a fair election, but it's never going to be a fair election to Trump unless he wins. If he loses, it's not a fair election. If he wins, it's a fair election. That's it. I am. I'm Eva. I'm with CBS Philadelphia. CBS. Um, are they the ones that did 60 Minutes? Yes. Yes. Are they the ones that changed your answer to make it positive? Uh, I'm not with network. I'm local. Well, it's the same yeah. thing. <laughs> so, uh, well, we actually... It's not the same thing at all. Well, we actually aren't the same thing. But when some people say that Harris might be more unifying... What is unifying? I think she's the most divisive person I've ever seen. How so? And she lies about her uh, job. So wait, Trump literally calling Democrats a threat to democracy? and talking about how we might need the military involved even? That's not divisive? What has Kamala Harris done to be divisive? She's, uh, she's told some horrible lies, but she's a very divisive person. And I think it shows up in the polls, yeah. I think I'm the I one- I think she's very divisive. How so? And she also lies and she's divisive and it shows up in the polls. <laughs> it just, no, okay, so a non-answer then. Thank you, Mr. Trump. Brings everyone together. We had the greatest economy we've ever had. We no. had the best job numbers ever. Uh, Not because of you. Board. Why was the economy already in shambles when you were president? Why were gas prices already skyrocketing when you were president? How come wages surpassed inflation for the last two years when Biden and Kamala 
We're in charge. Thank you all very much for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Grab some before you lose them. He's my kind of guy. Do you want ice cream? I'll get you some ice cream. Everything working good? You're doing a great job. She's doing a good job? Yes, she is. Thank you, everybody. So we'll see you at the next stop. But I hope you're going to grab that crowd because they say it's about 10, how many? 10,000? Oh, there's crowd size. How many TikTok, Jack? TikTok, tell them how many hits do we have on TikTok? 10 billion views. And that's TikTok Jack. Become I'm counting that as a crowd. I'm, I'm counting that. And uh, a couple of couple of days before that. I, I can't tell you that. That I can't tell you that much. It would, it would be very inappropriate. Uh, but uh, they're certainly in a better position. And fortunately, they didn't listen to Biden and to Harris. You know who Harris is, right? Kamala. Uh, they wanted to... They you know who Harris is, right? Yes, Trump. Shockingly, uh, the general public is not as misinformed as you are. Good job. Thank you very much. How long have you had it? This location, about yes. a year. I've been an oh, operator good? for 12 years. I see. So yes. this is a good location. Yes. Are you going to be able to grab 10,000 people outside and maybe... That's a lot of people, right? Crowd size talk again. Hey, can you tell me how big my crowd size is? Honey, please, I swear. You gotta say, that's uh, impressive, isn't it? Very impressive. Thank you all. Who are you with, NBC? CBS, here. CB oh, CBS. You mean the home of 60 Minutes? I don't want to They did a bad thing. They got caught. They got caught with their hand Actually, in the I think that what they did was they just made her answer shorter, uh, but they did not edit it to be positive or anything. The cookie jar, as they say, that wasn't good. 60 minutes. Don't worry, they won't put this on. I don't Have a good time. Thank you very much. Thank you. So basically, long story short, this was Trump's weird ass attempt at appealing to random everyday plebs. This is apparently his attempt, and uh, I don't think it was very good. Felt very forced, very cringy. But okay. Good for you, Trump. Just. Put the fries in the bag and please get to court, okay? If you want to support the channel, please consider becoming a member today. Members get early access to videos, access to all the stream VODs, and exclusive access to emotes as well. So if you'd like to support the channel, become a member today.